Hey guys, James here today and welcome to The Tenants. This is a brand new game that's just in early access. They sent me a code for this. I played it for a little bit. I've done the intro and I really, really liked it. Basically, we take on the role of a landlord, renovating, fixing up apartments, renting them out and trying to make money that way. It's actually a really nice little crossover between something like The Sims and more of a simulation tycoon management kind of game. So it's like perfectly up my alley. And I think you guys are gonna like this too. So here we are. This is the little town area that we're in at the moment. And there's actually a few other regions that we unlock later on. But at the moment, we're just in this area, which is called the slums. There's also the suburbs and then later on Manhattan. So we have to just, you know, become more profitable and get a bit more money. So what we're gonna wanna do is look for some renovation jobs. So like, for example, here, a real estate agency will hire an experienced designer for a kitchen makeover. Let's do it. So we accept our job. We jump over to it just like that. Look at this beautiful open world. So this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna work on this. We're gonna go begin our renovation. Now this is where it kind of is almost a little bit Sims-like when you look at all this sort of decoration and stuff. So over here, we got a list of all the stuff that we need to do or that they want. This is apparently just a kitchen, even though I guess it's the rest of the apartment because I got a bathroom and a bedroom. So this is the rest so for the floor. They want tile or stone. Well, what does stone look like? We go at 55. Oh, is that marble? Oh yeah. Wait, what's our budget? Nah, we got like $7,400 for our budget, which you can see over there, so that's okay. And the wall's blue or red. Oh no, let's go blue. It's actually really easy to find stuff, which is nice. Uh, I guess which blue do I want? This one? I mean, that one's pretty, I mean, it is pretty nice, I guess. Not, not exactly what I would want, but that's what the client wants. All right, so then we need kitchen cabinet, kitchen sink, fridge, cooker, all that kind of stuff. So let's have a look. Should we just buy them the most expensive? Oh my gosh, you can put this, you can put stuff anywhere. I'm gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna put the, <laughs> the fridge there. I bought, did I just buy the most expensive fridge too? I think so. And we're gonna go for a cooker. Ew, the most expensive one we have at the moment is not very nice. You can see there's actually more stuff that we can unlock as we level up, so there'll be more items later. Let's put it here. <laughs> all right, I, 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 can't, I can't do this, I'm sorry. It is funny, but. <laughs> <laughs> I can't live with myself if I do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this kitchen cabinet over here. Then we'll move the stove in the middle. And we need a range hood for the stove. Whoa, this is really weird. It's like facing the wrong way. I want like a normal one. Kettle or toaster or microwave. Let's get a microwave. That'll probably be more useful. A wall lamp. Wait, how much money have we got? $2,000. LED lamp. Okay, we'll get that up here. <laughs> Above the range hood. And a wall plant, okay. Now, preferred furniture, TV. So obviously we can do as much as we want in this room and the more we do then decorate, the more they're gonna like it. So within the budget, ideally you're trying to make it so they're really gonna like it. So I'm gonna try and get a couch as well. Let's get this orange couch, which go beautifully with this theme. Look at this. I, I don't know why they wanted one bar stool and nowhere to actually sit with it, but I'll, I'll put that over there. They did want a TV, but they did not ask for a couch or anything like that or a coffee table. So hopefully they'll like it. I mean, it's not ideal. It's in the middle of the room, but that'll do. We've ticked everything off. Beautiful, isn't this place great? So now we say deliver job. Oh, and I just unlocked total makeover renovations. So that means I can change walls and everything too. Whoops, no, 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 I didn't want to zoom out. I want to so say then the uh, the client will come in and they sort of look at stuff and they go, hmm, oh, she <laughs> didn't really like the TV. Okay, hmm, the kitchen sink. Hmm, this is not looking positive. Coffee table? Ah! <laughs> Is that it? You don't want to look at any of the other stuff? I mean, you got to be, you got marble flooring. Oh, is she looking at it now? Great, so we've unlocked a bunch of new stuff. Oh, double beds, we got some new floors. Is that a beaded door or a string curtain? Uh-oh, we've also got some unpaid bills. Oh no. Uh, how much money do I have? 22, oh, I got plenty. Let's pay all the bills, okay, cool. Oh, so she hasn't paid her rent. We have one tenant currently and she's not paid her rent. So we're gonna remind them politely. Great, now we need to see how she reacts, okay. So we can check my messages. I noticed that you still haven't paid this week's rent. You, you there? There's something going on with the fuse box. Can you take care of it? Uh, and apparently you've got no money to pay rent. Um, but I just fixed the fuse box. So this is, oh yeah, down here. So here's our, this is the little place that I own. This person's coming in to fix the fuse box. Excuse me, um, you need to pay your rent. Can I demand payment? Demand payment. Pay, oh whoa, okay. I didn't, why did we do like rude? I just meant like, you pay your rent or I'm gonna have to kick you out. Not like, I'm so sorry, I'll get right to it. Okay, good, thank you. <laughs> and this is a review of the renovation we just did. So they weren't like particularly, I mean, the, the decor's okay, but not great. Oh, so this is where I can buy other stuff. So 145,000 for that place, 
181,000 for that place. Is there anywhere I can actually afford? Not at the moment by the looks of it. Okay, let's do some more renovation jobs. Looking for a designer to do a total makeover of our apartment so that it fits our needs. All right, I'll do a total makeover. <laughs> I'm, I'm your guy, I got this. So before we can do renovation, we actually have to get, we have to do cleaning of the stuff to be cleaned up. So like this here, for example. And with this, we can actually decide to try and restore it. So then we get to keep it or we can just uh, salvage it or like scrap it. So we have a 73% chance of being able to keep this. So we're gonna, we'll, we'll try. Hey, so we got it. So I'm gonna add that to my player storage. I'm just gonna take their couch. I'm sure they won't mind. Thanks guys. Right, so what do they need? Whoa, okay, so they need a bedroom number one, bathroom and a kitchen. I think that's it. So, all right, so we can build walls. So we need bedroom, bathroom. All right, I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a three by three bedroom and then a really long and thin bathroom. That's, <laughs> that's my plan. And I'm gonna move the fuse box maybe out of the bathroom. So, you know, we don't have that kind of hazard in there. I'll just put the heating over here. All right, so linoleum or hardwood. I would like hardwood flooring, that'd be nice. Okay, then I need, I should probably put doors and stuff in, hey. So we'll get some nice, well, how much money have we got? 12,000 bucks, we get these nice doors in. Look at that, beautiful, look at those. Okay, this room is actually way bigger than I thought it was. A three by three in the tenants is a little bit bigger than the Sims. That's all I need to do for the bedroom, okay. I might have overestimated it. All right, toilet for the bathroom can go down this end. Do we need toilet paper? We do, so let's get a little toilet paper roll there. We need a toilet brush as well, which is easy. We get that there. Beautiful, that actually fits really well. Then we need a nice shower too, which can fit down this end with an awkward little gap. Get some really fancy $60 tile. <laughs> oh no. And beautiful green walls. <laughs> hey, it's what the client wants. It's not my choice, okay? It's just, just the way it is. All right, hardwood floor. So I'll do the same as the bedroom. And the walls, they want yellow. All right, let's do this one. It's the least offensive. Oh no, I thought that wasn't offensive at all, but it, it doesn't look that offensive, but it is really brightly yellow. Oh, so this is their place done. This is all they want. Well, let's give them some decorations to write home about. How about that? Special workout bench. How about a oh, $5,000 piano, that'd be awesome. Oh, we're out of budget. <laughs> okay, this beautiful statue over there. And we'll get a treadmill in this corner. Oh, they might want a nice TV. Oh, I, I want to get the expensive TV. Wait, if I sell that is, that, is that the same as what I bought it for? Oh yeah, we haven't lost value, so that's fine. So I might actually get them a TV. Oh, I can get a sweet gamer room set up. Let's get a really expensive wall-mounted TV to go here. <laughs> A $270 picture right above the stove. And a $150 plant in this corner. And some books for some light reading as well. We got $9 left. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Okay, I can see the decor rating now. Well, they're, they're not gonna really like this one, but <laughs> it's okay. She loves it. Okay, just don't look at anything else because the rest of the stuff is a little rough. Do you like the, t I mean, the TV is a nice touch. Yeah. Okay, stop looking. Stop looking at stuff now, please. Oh, three for three. Okay, no, no, now you really got to stop looking at stuff. Is she leaving? Oh no, she's looking at the, uh, I guess the actual layout maybe. She's liking this. She's actually liking this empty hole of a place. Okay, what was our, what was our review? Dang, this is an amazing review. I mean, I thought I did a terrible job, but there you go. Where's my rent money? She has not paid that $800 rent yet. The last I said was pay your rent and then she's like i'm so sorry i get right to it now it's like i've noticed that you still haven't paid this week's rent and she said the same thing again pay your rent I, can i kick her out because she's terrible i've got a pack of rats in my flat any moment now and they'll start riding bikes i'll send my uncle in to fix it can you pay your rent though can i be like i'm not fixing this until you pay your rent so how do i do it oh i go i press z so he puts a trap down and then oh okay i guess i want a few of these Another one here, there's one in the bathroom as well. Look at this place. I did, I did this beautiful renovation in here too. Get one there, and there goes one. And let's get one down over here. And that should be problem solved. Cool. So are you gonna pay your rent now or? Oh, she has paid her rent. Yeah, sweet. Right, I'm gonna accept a couple of jobs at a time and we're just gonna quickly do them. Okay, so this one, I'm just finding a tenant for this place. Uh. Let's do a background check on this person. Criminal history, no criminal record, debt, dang. Um, okay, ask you to leave. They got a debt of 439,000. Right, let's check you. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's check you. $860,000 debt, what's wrong with these people? A million dollars debt? It's getting worse. Get out of here. How can you be affording to rent a place if you have a million dollars in debt? It's honestly, whatever. 
Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna get you. <laughs> sure, I'll make you an offer. So they have offered fourteen ninety eight. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I think the person wanted fifteen hundred or something. I don't know what they wanted. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never done that job before. Oh, so this is Leroy England. So this guy here, this current tenant. Good day, scum. Oh yeah, my name is Scum, by the way, because. I'm a scummy landlord, so. I was supposed to contact you as you seem to be the new person in charge. I really like my landlord, so no pressure. Ha, ah, have a nice day. All right, well, I succeeded at the other one and I unlocked some stuff, which is great. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Something, something's happened now, something's happened. My heater stopped working. Okay, uh, I'll send a pro in. Is this what it meant by just take care of them? Like something was gonna come up and then I had to do that. So I'm just like helping manage this property or something. Nice to see that they don't have a corner kitchen counter there. Interesting. I mean, I apparently did it, so that's great. <laughs> so this is what I felt, I was trying to find a tenant. I did not do a good job on that. This one was okay though. Uh, yeah, so I just need to take care of a couple of tenants. So that's what these jobs are. And that's also what it's asking me to do up here is the babysitting jobs. Oh no, my tenant's lease is ending soon. I suggest trying to renegotiate another tenant. Well, they haven't been paying, so... Well, hang on, hang on. There's all this, what's happening in my phone right now? There's all these things popping up. Wait, wait, wait. So I've noticed you haven't paid. Listen up, I've got a situation here with a leaky pipe. <sighs> Okay, now you said you were gonna pay me, so you did actually pay me, that's good. I suggest trying to renegotiate the terms for another few months, but it's up to you. Okay, so, so yeah, I gotta go back to my tenant here and negotiate lease extension. So 60 day lease, and I'm gonna suggest 4,000. Let's see what they actually wanna pay. Three, four, nine, six. Sure, whatever, I'll just accept it. Great, so she's gonna stay in here, even though she's kind of annoying and doesn't really pay rent. At least we have someone, you know? All right, how about over here? What's going on over this place? I'm supposed to be taking care of you. Whoa, 2,500 bucks. I'll send my uncle. Wait, what do I have to? Electronic equipment. Yeah, my uncle get on that. Don't worry. <laughs> I got this. Repair, 80% chance. Well, I'll try. Uh, be careful, uncle. <laughs> oh, it's working again. Sweet. All right, I'll leave. <laughs> oh, they like me. I'm not so scummy after all. That's all I'm going to say. Ooh, I got an elite contract. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to accept it because those are special. Right, so what do I have to do? Focus. Uh, required furniture, decor, don't mind floors, 75,000. Oh, all right. There's a lot of cleaning to do, so let's try sort all that out. There's also in these places special items that you can't get anywhere else, so in the uh, prestigious place places. All righty, begin renovation. So this is, whoa, this is quite the list. <laughs> Dang, okay. So common security cameras, manufacturing hall. Uh oh. Seems like we're building some sort of den and a brewery, number two. So three by three for a bedroom was pretty big. So I might do a two by three. So I'm gonna put a bedroom here. Then I need a security room. So I'm gonna do a security room here by the front door. And I need a bathroom, which I'll do opposite the bedroom. Cause that makes sense. I'll do it like a little two by two. We need a living room, which I guess can just, can it just be this area? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna set this zone here as a living area. Let's just go modern sliding doors everywhere. There you go. I don't know what the numbers are because it's like number one, then number seven. I don't, I don't really understand. Manufacturing hall. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll hide this stuff back over here. Let's get some tables maybe to put it on. I thought this was supposed to be a wholesome landlord game. I mean, I guess as a landlord, you kind of get into some stuff. And then we need a brewery. This was going to be our brewery in here. I don't know. Do they need a, I don't, they don't really need access to this. So we'll just get a couple of those. I didn't realize this bedroom was gonna be so full. I probably should have looked at the list of items. You know, I rushed to accept this prestige job. I maybe should have read the description a little bit more. Might have been a mistake on my life to accept this, but we'll see. All right, so security room can have a monitoring station here and here. <laughs> need the armory as well, okay. And we need a living room. Living room is actually the last place. So I actually have this additional room that I didn't need. I wonder if I can just put this in here and then that'll count even though it's like a different room. They also need roulette. <laughs> I feel like this room has maybe let me down a little bit. Yeah, all right, so we've checked off everything and we have a spare room. I mean, the layout's not great. It's it's nice, it's, it's nice. We have $600 to spare. So we can see the decor of oh, this room. Bathroom's really good. Brewery's great. Manufacturing hall, not so good. Uh, bedroom is terrible. How is the bedroom terrible? I got these awesome things in there. I don't think it needs to look that good. I mean, this is a questionable room, a questionable apartment renovation at best. I, I don't know why I accepted this job, to be honest. It was a big mistake. Oh, yeah, they love the kitchen. All right, what did you reckon? Uh, I mean, pretty good. Four stars, not bad. Got $14,000. 
Uh, excuse me, where is... Why haven't you paid your rent? I've noticed that you still haven't paid this week's rent. It seems to be an ongoing issue with you. Sorry, I've got no money. Uh, that's not my problem. How do I... I want to demand it. All right, I gotta do one more babysitting job to complete this little uh, task I've got. Pay your rent. You owe me $1,800. I'm so sorry. I'll get to it right away. Okay, we'll see about that. Oh, she did. Oh, thank you. I can nearly afford somewhere. I need to do some more jobs real quick. So, okay, so with the open house ones, it tells me what I actually need to get because I messed this up last time. We need a budget. Well, we have a budget of $1,500. No factory worker, construction worker, and they want someone 23 to 47. Well, let's try that. So you are a butcher. You're in the age range. Let's just do a quick background check. Debt, zero dollars. Okay, well, I'm going to negotiate with you. <laughs> and they wanted 1,500 bucks. Is that what the budget is? It's like, I don't know how much they're... Well, I'm going to offer you that. I'm going to just slide it way up. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. <laughs> okay. I uh, accepted the first one. They had no debt, unlike the other people. <laughs> Did they accept this person that had like a million dollars in debt? That seems like a bad choice. All right, so they're going to review it. Oh, they love it. Look at those eyes. Uh, they seem to be a little intoxicated. Success. Well, that was easy. There you go. That one worked great. Oh, here we go. So you've got a problem. I'll send my uncle in. Oh, you got rats. Oh wait, this is just my place. I thought it was the other apartment that I'm supposed to be taking care of. I was gonna put down three rat traps and we should be okay. How does she keep getting rats in this place? I totally blame the tenant for this, not me. <laughs> All right, cool. That, that's fixed. What about the other person? Whatever happened to them? Oh, here we go, here we go. I'll send my uncle. What do you need? Could really use some assistance. Uh, a bunch of roaches. Oh, my uncle's great at that. I can do this. Here we go. Just do a little bit of gassing out. I got here, like, oh, there is a lot of roaches in this place. <laughs> They're huge. It's a nice place, though. I mean, I'm not wearing any protective gear at all, and this stuff is, like, green. And let's leave. Oh, let's leave, what I'm trying to do. Cool, thanks for helping me solve my problem. No worries. I've just sent you the, month, uh, the money for this period. Great. So she, did she actually pay on time for once? Sweet. Hey, I finally finished the babysitting thing, too. We got some new items, which is nice. We're finally eligible for a loan. Oh, I don't even know if we could get loans. Pull out your phone and boot up the bank app. All right, uh, $50,000 loan. Cause I can't get the other ones. All right, loan details. So if I go six months, I have to pay 8,000 a month. Let's just go 18 months, sure. I mean, the game told me to do it, so I'm gonna do it, okay? Uh, cool. So now it wants me to buy an apartment on Ferry Street. 99,000. I feel like I didn't actually need to take out a loan for this because I had enough money, but okay. <laughs> Sweet, so I own another apartment now. Begin open house. I'm gonna rent the whole apartment. I'm gonna advertise it in the newspaper as well. Oh, I can only do one. Forget this one, newspaper. If I've learned anything, it's to check who I'm getting in here. No criminal record. That's good. Oh, you do not like the apartment though. Profit 180. No, no, no. I want, I want a good profit. <laughs> Okay, uh, no. I maybe should have renovated this place. Can I close this open house? I don't like this open house anymore. Yeah, get out, get out of my apartment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, this place is terrible. So let's, let's fix it. All right, let's uh, fix these doors. Let's, let's go like a little standard door like that. Living room, sure, we'll get some nice hardwood floors. Let's get hardwood floors throughout. Look at that, beautiful. Wallpapers, living area can be this. Very nice, very nice. The bedroom could be this. Yeah, that's fancy. And then the bathroom, some of this. I don't know, I'm just, you know, a little bit of a makeover. All right, then we get a nice double bed. What is this? This is a dresser with a mirror. Sure, we'll get a dresser with a mirror. So can I see, oh, I can't see the decoration level. I thought it would show me here. Or is that only in Renault jobs, maybe? We got a little TV here too, so you can watch TV from bed. That'll be nice. Uh, we can fit. A shower there. Really nice shower too, by the way. Really nice expensive toilet. Really nice like toilet paper roll holder as well. And a little toilet brush on this side. We'll get that there. Then this can go against the back of that. So it sort of divides the room. Then you have this area here. And we'll get a slightly better TV for the living space. Look at this. Look at this. And some wall plants. $500 poster. I mean, this place is looking pretty good. I, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I think we're done. How do I leave again? Oh yeah, go here. All right, let's try again. Let's go begin an open house. I think this should probably be a little bit better now, surely. <laughs> let's do a background check on you. <sighs> Corey Riley, uh, you can get out of here. Background check on you, please. I don't really want someone with that much debt, you know, hanging around. No debt. You are 30 years old. You're a waiter. You got a good salary. Appalling. Oh, I don't think they like that sink. 
Hang on, let's wait till she looks. I think we need to wait for the score to be pretty good. I'll check this person too while they're here. Um, Cause I thought, oh, what? You didn't like that painting? Oh, okay, so we're definitely not, this This person can leave. You can get out of here. Cause they got a big criminal record. All right, let's check you. Unsatisfying. You also don't like, oh, I put so much effort into this place. Okay, this person's also good. So neither of them have debt. Uh, I think we're having an earthquake as well, which is just fantastic. <laughs> okay. Apartment's got fine. Man, these people are not liking this place. I put a lot of effort into it. So all these people have good amounts of, okay, hang on, good, good, good. We're gonna negotiate. 46. What? 25? You wanted to pay that little? How about 37.50? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. That's a pretty good profit still. Still a 26.40 profit. Cool. All right, so we've got that going now. Can I, um, oh, what's going on here? Uh, so, oh, uh, so this is, oh, okay. So these are my two, um, like buildings or apartments, I guess. Right, okay. So there's actually two in here now. Uh, now, as for that, Cool, you've just sent money, great. And then you, uh, greetings, cool. I'm gonna get rid of all these other messages. Now, bank-wise, I need 52,000 to pay all that off, but that's all right, I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave this part here. Oh, 129, I wanna buy more places. I'm gonna become the best landlord ever. This is really fun, I really like this game. If you wanna watch more of uh, the tenants, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, it's kind of like this. Uh, we do a little little jobs here and there and we do renovation jobs, but eventually the goal is to own all of your own places and have lots of tenants, obviously, as the name suggests, and make your money that way. But there's so much other stuff to do along the way. And this game is still in early access, so there's gonna be stuff changing and being added as well. But I mean, I'm, I'm really excited for this game. It's a lot of fun. So if you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.